Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series where we are recreating the Sims 3 families and their homes from Twinbrook in The Sims 4. So, today, <laughs> we are recreating the Racket family. And, as you can see, if you're not familiar with the family, it's a big family. They are very wealthy. They live in a mansion. So, sit back, relax, if you plan on watching this whole video. Um, it's quite lengthy, and I did... Trust me, I did cut out a lot to make it less lengthy, so you're welcome. <laughs> but anyways, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about the Racket family. So, their family description in The Sims 3 says, Our personality disorder is inherited. Dennis slipped up and gave an inch. The old man took a mile. Now the corrupt old frauds just take, fake, and foil. Walking defect bill skims off the top while the teens beg for attention in neglected obscurity. How long can the sanity assault continue? Will, Silver, will Silver's hijacked years and stolen looks ever know the bittersweet taste of revenge? Little Lolly may be the line's only hope of redemption. So there actually is another member of the Racket family and his name is Dudley and he is another one of the brothers but he lives separately and so we'll meet him later but anyways like I said this family consists of the elderly grandparents Max and his wife Marigold their sons Dudley Bill and Dennis as well as Dennis's wife Silver and the couple's two teenage children Shark and Lolly and the family is a very wealthy <laughs> their house is freaking huge and they have quite a lot of money um, but Dudley lives by himself apart from his family, and he lives in a quite um, more modest, poor, poverty-ridden home. It's just like an old cabin, and he, you know, works a typical 9-to-5 job. He doesn't have a lot of money. He kind of just distances himself. We'll talk about him later, though. But the Racket family, they seem to have been modeled on a mafia family. And one of the clues alluding to that is many of the members seem to have monikers, such as Shark or Silver. Another clue is that some of the family's bios state that Max Racket has a mystery business, and according to most of them, the business is one of crime. The name Racket comes from Racket, which is an illegal business, usually run as part of organized crime. So... We are pretty much halfway through creating all the sims, but I'm going to go and kind of give you a little bit more detail on them one by one. So, Max was the elderly man in the beginning. He is the grandpa, and he um, appears to be a long-line criminal, um, and he's the head of the family. There is an evidence on the surface, however, that shows him working hard as a criminal, although his bio implies that he is enjoying his retirement. Um, he is currently in The Sims 3. He's working part-time as a spa receptionist or spa specialist. And his work performance isn't very good either. It's, you know, halfway to the bottom. You know, he might be getting fired soon. <laughs> so he might need to work a little harder or else he'll get fired. On the other hand, his wife Marigold has evident proof of being a successful criminal. Because uh, she is actually a retired super villainess. So it is implied in Marigold's biography that Max may not actually be the true head of the crime family. And that Marigold is the one who really manages the business. So, Max is a mean-spirited, evil Sim who possesses the kleptomaniac trait, and his lifetime wish is to become an expert kleptomaniac and steal others' property. So, this would imply that his actual crime is that he steals property as a kleptomaniac. Um, he is also a lucky coward, so he may not be as legendary a criminal as he makes himself out to be compared to his wife. But he has a seven skill point in the he has seven points in the consignment skill, um, probably because he used. Um, I would imagine that he worked as a spa specialist, uh, kind of like to hide his crimes, where he would like steal from the business and stuff like that, and go and sell stolen items. So yeah, he kind of just takes the lead as the head 
a patriarch of the family, but he's really not. Um, his wife is more so that. But he has a poor relationship with his wife, and he's enemies with all his children. Uh, but he is friends with Silver, his daughter-in-law. And he is friends with Shark and acquaintances to Lolly, his granddaughter. And he doesn't have many relationships outside his family. So Max just sounds like a wonderful old man, just a ray of sunshine. <laughs> um, but a little bit about his wife, Marigold. So, like I said, she appears to be the head of the criminal clan, and she is a retired supervillain in the criminal branch in The Sims 3. Um, but if you download her, uh, my recreation of her from The Sims 4 Gallery, I do have her currently employed in the criminal career. She is not retired yet. I left that up to you if you wanted to go ahead and have her retire because she actually, when you go into The Sims 3, she has a the lifetime wish hasn't been completed and she would have to, um, you know, reach another level or go back to work or something like that. So anyways, I decided to just give her, you know, a, I just decided to keep her in the job because she was making a little bit more money than the rest of the family. And it was just be up to you if you wanted to have her retire or not because, you know, she is pretty old anyways. But she is said to be the true head of the family's crime syndic syndicate, however you say that. <laughs> um, her husband is very cowardly, like I said. Worked at the day spa. She's a little bit more, you know, hardcore. <laughs> Max's crime involves stealing other Sims' property. And hers is just kind of like being the big boss. The brains behind the business, you know, the the one that ain't afraid to hurt somebody. I mean, she's evil. It's just, she's quite scary if you ask me. She has both evil and mean-spirited traits. Um, and she shares those both with Max, making them a very evil couple. She has six skill points in logic, and she has mastered the athletic skill. I mean, she's an, she's an elder, so, you know, she can't, like, do much exercising without <laughs> probably kicking the bucket in The Sims 4. But, uh, she is, like, she's a badass, pretty much. You know, she's like, I wouldn't want to piss her off. But, anyways, like I said, she is retired in the game. But, here it is, right before... She retired right before she completed her lifetime wish, so she would just have to go back into the game and get back in that career track to complete her lifetime wish, so that's why I went ahead and just kept her in the career, but anyways, um, Marigold only knows DeAndre Wolf outside of her family members, and she is friends with her family members except except Silver and Dennis, with whom she is enemies. So, that's interesting. But moving on to her son, Dennis. Actually, let's talk about, instead of talking about Dennis, let's, let's go to Bill. Because I think I did make Bill next. Yeah, so Bill. <laughs> Bill is an adult, and he is... I'm not sure who is the oldest son, but I know he is older than Dennis, and he still lives with his parents. He's not married or anything like that. Um, Dennis is actually one that's married with the kids, but anyways, he actually um, is a notorious kleptomaniac himself, um, but Bill appears to be disappointed when his father chose Dennis to lead the family business, despite the fact that the two brothers are enemies with each other. So, Bill seems to hold a grudge against Dennis because he was kind of chosen to, you know, take over the, the mafia, the family business or whatever. And he's also his son's, um, his dad's favorite son. Even though, it, I just told you, Max does not like any of his kids. <laughs> he hates them all. He's enemies with all of them. But, um, apparently, Dennis is his favorite. So, Yeah. Uh, Bill is enemies with all of his family members except his mother. He's close to his mother and his niece, Lolly. So, he is also a romantic interest um, to Julian Knack, which we have not created her yet, but we will. And she is the heiress of the wealthy Knack family. 
He has commitment issues and his lifetime wishes to be a gold digger, so that's probably why he is interested in such a wealthy sim. He's probably just willing to add to his wealth since he is not, you know, leading this family business and you know, Dennis is probably taking over with his kids, and then of course, like his son Shark is gonna want to take over. So he needs some some wealth coming in from somewhere. Um, Bill is also not a part of the criminal career track. He is actually a politician. So I guess he kind of just decided to go in a different direction since he was not chosen to just you know carry on the family legacy. So he is in the political career and he has a terrible career performance. So he he needs to work on that. But anyways, yeah, that's a little bit about Bill. So moving on to Dennis. So Dennis is an adult himself and he is the one that was chosen by his dad to you know carry on the legacy of the family because obviously you know their elders are about to pass away and whatnot so he is in the criminal career tract as well as his mother so anyways he is in the different branch though of his mother so I think that may be why there's kind of like a little bit of speculation for you to come up with your own theories but he is his, the favorite grandson or son you know of his dad but he, his dad doesn't like him and then he's also enemies with his mom um, so they say that he must have done something um, that disappointed them or kind of upset them or he made a decision that wasn't wise. I don't know if maybe it's the track he took. He took the opposite track of his mom in the criminal career. So I think his career track that he's in is more of like a hacker type thing and he's not really like the master brains uh, big super villain boss, you know. I don't know. That would be my understanding of it. Um, but he does have an ambitious trait. He's a kleptomaniac as well. Um, but yeah, he's enemies with his mom and dad because apparently he slipped up somehow. He's enemies with both his brothers and they probably just don't like him because he's like the favorite of the family and has kind of just been promised this luxurious lifestyle to... You know, unless their family business gets caught or something like that. I mean, he's pretty much set for life. They got they got a good cover-up. They got a very nice house. But anyways, he doesn't know anybody really outside of his um, household. And he is pretty much good friends with his wife and his two children. So, yes. He has level 6 in the athletic career. And he has handiness level 1. So, moving on to his wife, Silver. So, she is an adult as well. And she actually, I think she has a part-time job as well. But I didn't give her a job in The Sims 4 if you download my creation of them. I just imagine that she would be, I mean, why would she go to work when she can, she's, okay, she's set for a lot. I mean, look at their house, right? I mean, I can imagine her out by the pool, lounging, chilling. She's a party girl. She likes to throw parties. I imagine she likes to go clubbing. She likes to host parties. She likes to have her friends over. She likes to go to the spa, go shopping. Don't really see her being the working type, but she was a little bit apprehensive of Marion Dennis uh, because of his family's business. But once she realized how wealthy he was she was all about it then so uh, she's a little bit of a moot she actually has the mooch trait and that has contributed to her thirst for wealth um, so she doesn't have many skills she's not much of good at anything um, she's friends with Max her father-in-law and her children uh, she's enemies with her mother-in-law Marigold as well as Dennis's brothers Bill and Dudley so outside of the house she has acquaintances with DeAndre Wolf and Amy Bull, and she and Jade Greenwood are best friends, which is really weird because Jade Greenwood, if you guys aren't familiar with her, I recreated her two weeks ago in this series. She's a teenager, and she's like a super goody-good, eco-friendly, like, why is she friends with this woman? I don't, I don't know, <laughs> but anyways, moving on to Shark Racket which is the teenage son. He is 
very handsome to me. It's just something about, he's got that bad boy look with the long hair, the muscles, the muscle shirt. But anyways, he is um, friends with his parents and grandparents, enemies with his sister and his two uncles. Um, but according to his bio, he seems to have interest in the family business and he would want to follow his father's footsteps even though he lacks the traits that would reflect his personality in the criminal career. Instead, his traits suggest that he is more of a womanizer than a criminal. He is a high school student with a C grade. He doesn't really know anybody outside of his household. He has two skill points in athletic and three in video gaming. So, yes, yeah, a little bit about Shark. Um, he obviously would love to take over the family business, but uh, he might not be the best suitor for the job. I feel like he would probably mess it up. He's just a little bit more interested in women. Definitely see him being, you know, like, like they said, he's a more of a womanizer. Uh, but his sister, Lolly, she is so cute. Uh, she is pretty much the opposite of the rest of her family. She seems to be a little bit kind of clueless to her family's business. She doesn't really know what they do or what it's all about. She doesn't know the full extent of what her dad does for a living. She's spoiled because obviously she has this luxurious life from her family's fortune. Um, she doesn't seem to be aware of all the criminal activities between all her family members, and like she just doesn't seem to really care about it, obviously. Um, but it is implied that she is the only hope for the family's redemption. Um, but nonetheless, she is still enemies with her uncle, who is not in this household, Dudley, probably just because of what the rest of the family, I would imagine, says about him. It kind of just gives her a tainted view on him. But she is enemies with um, her brother, Shark. Um, but she's friends with the rest of her household. So, anyways, yeah, she's kind of like the opposite of her brother. She's, you know, uh, she's more modest. She has the never nude traits. So, I feel like, you know, she's a little bit uh, not as flirtatious as her brother. But, anyways, yeah, that is the family. So, whew. There's a lot of information about them, I know, but that's okay because this is a very long video. So we have gotten through the majority of the downstairs portion of the build. So let me go ahead and talk about the speed build. If you're still with me, I know it was probably like, oh my gosh, shut up because I was like trying to explain all these family members. But anyways, I think the family turned out so cute. And honestly, I say this every single time I recreate one of these families, but they would be so much fun to play with. I'm telling you, if you need a family, if you like drama, okay, the girl, boy, I got you. This right here, this is the family for the drama. I mean, they are dysfunctional, like a whole new definition of dysfunction, this family right here. <laughs> but I think that makes just for a really fun storyline and a lot of, you know, entertainment with this family. I just don't see how I would ever get bored. I feel like I'd be always busy because there's so many of them and they have so many different personalities. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> so this is their house, <laughs> as you can see, and it is huge. Okay. This house took me forever to furnish, not necessarily build because the exterior of the house is pretty simple, um, but the inside, it's just, it's three stories, okay, three stories. This was way bigger than the <laughs> Alto family mansion land grab or the goth mansions that I recreated in the previous series, so yeah, they obviously live on the wealthy side of town in Twinbrook, which there are a few other families who have big houses, but this one was just... <laughs> extra a whole nother level of big and bougie so anyways i think it's very pretty though it's just your typical like white manor it's, it's like a manor it's a mansion so obviously for the interior of the house i tried to go with that you know victorian um old-timey manor style I wouldn't imagine it being really modern or anything. I just imagine this being a mafia family. And I know you could take it, you know, more modern and, you know, 
a little bit more up to date. But since Max and Marigold are kind of like the leaders of the family, I just imagine that this style would fit them more personally just because, you know, they are the leaders currently until they pass away. They are the head of the household. So this obviously is their house that they're going to pass down to probably Dennis and Silver since he took over the family business. Even though um, Bill still lives with them, like I said, he is kind of after, um, you know, the, the wealthy Sims <laughs> in town. So he might would eventually get married or move in or something with a wealthy Sim just to try to get away from his brother and kind of start his own legacy. I don't know. Maybe he'd just do, be super jealous, but excuse me, for the rest of his life, and he would stay in the household, just try to kind of mess up what his brother's doing. I can see him doing either way, but yeah, there's a lot of Sims here, so the house is obviously going to be pretty big, and it has a ton of bedrooms, and I wasn't sure when I was going into The Sims 3 and checking out the house and taking pictures of like the floor plan and everything, I wasn't necessarily sure who... Um, his bedroom was who so I kind of just made it up myself <laughs> and I will show you that once we get upstairs into the bedroom portion but anyways I'm just decorating the downstairs entryway um, the hallways on the next two stories I cut those out completely um, one of them on the second floor actually has like a little study nook area but you'll see screenshots of that it's just this video was way too long. It's already long, but it was going to be even longer if I would have kept every single room in. I cut out a bunch of the bathrooms too, and I did cut out the basement. So I did add to this house. Originally in The Sims 3, this house had a super long driveway on the side of it, and they had a garage, but you know, we don't have cars in The Sims 3. Um, so I just felt like it wasn't necessary for this build. So I ended up just giving them a basement because the garage was where they had their laundry. So I just kind of added a little door there in the hallway, which leads down to the basement. And like I said, I did do that off camera, but it's, you know, your basic basement. It's got your laundry down there. They've got some tools and stuff like that. But anyways, whew, wow. <laughs> I'm trying to make it. I'm chugging along, but we are upstairs, and this is where we start furnishing all of the bedrooms. So, this bedroom right here on this side of the house was interesting because it actually had um, kind of like two rooms to it. So, I put like an archway leading into kind of like, I don't know, I was thinking maybe like a walk in closet or glamour area for silver. Um, but I ended up just kind of making it like a little office area, seating area. And then they have an ensuite bathroom, which originally in The Sims 3, the bathroom was accessible from the hallway. But I figured that since Silver and Dennis are the ones that are taking over the family, um, even though technically Max and Marigold are still the head of the family and this is like their house that they founded and they're just gracious enough to let the rest of the family live there with them. Um, I still imagine that they would pass away pretty soon. So instead of having to rearrange all the bedrooms, I just felt like this made more sense to be Dennis and Silver's room. So that is what I did. Um, I went with like the yellow walls and... I'm so out of breath. <laughs> but this is like a lot of talking to do, you know? And I gave Silver like a vanity because I just feel like she's very self-absorbed. You know what I'm saying? And I put a dresser and chair, mirror, the usual bedroom clutter. But yeah, their house isn't super cluttered, isn't too super messy. I just don't really imagine it being that way. So, yeah. In the next room with a little archway, I was thinking of using the glamour. Okay, it's not glamour. It's the get famous closet and shoe rack. I just imagined that, you know, that would be right up Silver's Alley. But I just didn't like the way it looked in the room. It just didn't flow with the style in the rest of the house. So, like I said, I just ended up 
putting an extra office in here because downstairs there was an office um, kind of like a public office where anybody can come in and, like talk and I imagine that you know that's typically like Marigold slash Max's office so upstairs in their bedroom since he is a hacker I gave uh, Dennis this little desk area here so he can you know do his crimes and work from home in here and pretty much just added like a little couch and just random stuff <laughs> I didn't really know what else to do with this room because uh, it is kind of odd shaped with the fireplace kind of sitting over there and the window and uh, I kind of added the bathroom there well the bathroom was originally there in the floor plan but I just put the door entryway there but you won't see me decorate their ensuite bathroom just because I cut out I think I cut out every single bathroom besides the downstairs bathroom they're all very similar similar <laughs> similar they're all very similar I can't talk similar there you go <laughs> and they look pretty much basically like you know downstairs bathroom same um plumbing you know same toilets stuff like that so anyways um yes that is a uh, what you will not see but anyways you guys <sighs> I'm so out of breath from this voiceover because I'm currently 37 weeks pregnant recording this and I don't know when it's going to be up. By the time this goes up, y'all, I may have already had a baby. <laughs> but right now I'm still out of breath, so you got to bear with me. I'm even pausing it and taking breaks, but this is just, whew, it's a lot of talking, you hear? <laughs> it's a lot of talking to do for me having this baby and my baby has dropped so it's not, he's not even all up in my lungs anymore but it's still a lot of talking <laughs> so anyways I know some of you are like you don't have to do voiceovers you don't have to make videos you know you need to rest girl I'm resting I'm telling you I ain't got a job right now <laughs> so I'm very well rested um, but I do like I said want to still be doing as much as I can for the channel. I'm trying to come up with a lot of speed builds and a lot of stuff like this. That way, once I do have the baby, obviously The Sims will for sure be the last thing on my mind. Um, I'll be taking care of a newborn. I can still have these videos ready to upload. So I will have some content coming at you and it's not just completely silence on my channel. So that's my plan. But anyways, moving on. <laughs> Here we are um, in the next bedroom. So this bedroom I gave to Max and Marigold. Um, like I said, I feel kind of bad because I just I don't. I, Marigold doesn't even like her son Dennis or Silver, so I don't know how they got that bedroom, but in my mind, I'm the sim god here. They got that bedroom. Marigold can shove it. So this is hers and Max's room, and I think it turned out really nice. I like the purple swatch of the bed, um, and it's kind of like... The swatch of the bed is kind of black, but it also blends in with this wood, so it didn't bother me too bad. Um, I did put a desk over here, just cluttered it up a little bit. Didn't give them a computer because, like I said, downstairs there is a big office, and I imagine that once they did any other business stuff, or Marigold did, she would use that computer. Um, so upstairs, just like a little, a little desk storage area. Um, Gave them a little couch here, just added some pictures and some clutter, but overall I think their room is pretty cute. I don't know, it's just typical grandma-grandpa room, but I think it looks really, really nice. Um, I was also thinking about possibly giving this family like a safe, because I know in The Sims... <sighs> Sunset Valley families that I recreated, the land grabs... And the Altos, I did give them a safe in their house, but I didn't give one to the Goth family. So I think that was after, or I had created them before Get Famous came out. But I don't know, for this family, I, I don't feel like they would have a safe. But they might. I mean, honestly, okay, take it back. I definitely could see them having a safe because they're criminals. And I could definitely imagine Max, since he is the one that kind of 
is the thief of property he goes around stealing that he would kind of store a bunch of jewelry and stuff down there. So if you want to play with a safe, some people like that, you can add it to the um, basement downstairs. Right now the basement is not big enough, but you could obviously just make it a little bit bigger and add a safe and voila, but I didn't give them one unfortunately, but anyways, here is Bill's room. So, you know, Bill is the politician. He is the one that's a little sour puss. He's all mad because his dad chose Dennis instead of him to take over the family business. So, I just kind of, you know, decorated his room. I just decorated all of the rooms kind of with the theme of the house. The furniture is still very, you know, old and uh, traditional. Uh, but I think it looks nice. I definitely would lock the door to this room if you download this house because I did put a TV like a big screen TV in here because he you know doesn't get along with much of his family so I don't imagine he would really like hang out with him a lot so I imagine he would spend a lot of time in his room watching TV chilling so yeah um, he has also a desk in there with a computer and I gave him a podium since he is in the politician's career he's not necessarily doing the best but you know if he wanted to work hard he could probably really make it in the world and use his terrible traits to make the world a worse place than what it already is but anyways yeah i would lock this door definitely um where he is the only one that has access to it so you don't have like dennis who he hates coming in his room chilling watching tv i mean not appropriate at all so yeah, there's also a bathroom right there, but I don't, do I furnish it? Do I show me furnishing this bathroom? Oh, I think I do. Do I? Let's see. I do. Okay, so I decided to show you two bathrooms. Okay, um, so this is the hallway bathroom that is shared by uh, Max, Marigold, and Dennis, and then of course, like any guests that you know want to come upstairs and use the bathroom, they can. But, anyways, just take a look at this. It's very similar to um, the ensuite bathroom that I didn't show you off camera. It's pretty much similar to the one I showed you downstairs. But there is three more bathrooms in this house on the third story, so I don't show you any of those. <laughs> but just keep in mind they look pretty much identical to this except shark and lollies you may see theirs like out of the corner of your eye be skimming over the bathrooms while I'm decorating different rooms upstairs but um, they're just like this except they have lollies has the pink tile and the pink wallpaper and then I think sharks has the blue so it's a little bit more colorful but for the most part it's pretty much the same and then there behind the stairwell if you can see i don't know if you can see that right there it's kind of like a little nook area and so i made that into a nice little study i put like a desk there and bookshelf and a little you know seating area so you know kids whoever can come and study there if they want to but this is the third and final story of this house so yeah this house is big. I told y'all it was, and I cut out like a lot. It would have been probably an hour long video. It's 42 minutes, so it's still pretty like wow, but I tried. <laughs> this is Lolly's bedroom, and her favorite color is red. You know, in The Sims 3, they could have favorite colors, so I try to go off of that. Um, I like to use the same style wallpaper throughout the house, especially in these type builds like these houses so I did give her the pink wallpaper originally to start off with I didn't think it looked really bad with the um the red and like the creamy peachy color of the bed and the rug but I do end up changing the wallpaper to more of I don't even know what the color would be it's more of like an orangey pink I think it looked a little bit better um for like the bedding and coloring of her room but anyways yeah her room is super cute i gave her a little desk area and of course her and max both have laptops they're spoiled so yeah, they have you know everything their little heart desires and it's really sad because i did mention this but i didn't really go into it but their family biography states that the teens want attention they search for attention but they're neglected because 
their family is criminals. <laughs> They're preoccupied with their family business. Um, and their mom and their family hates each other. Talk about dysfunction. Like, these kids, whew, I feel bad for them. I really do. But, like, their mom, does, like, she's not maternal at all. She's not family-oriented. She's not really focused on her kids. Yeah, she'll give them whatever they want. She's, you know, they kind of, like, buy their love. Uh, but the kids just want attention and love and bonding. And they don't get that. Um, their mom's preoccupied with partying. Dad's preoccupied with the rivalry with his siblings. <sighs> so, yeah, the kids are just kind of, like, fighting for attention. Um, so, I can definitely see that being um, a way for, specifically, I could see Shark get into a lot of trouble and kind of, like, acting out because of it. And Lolly, you know, she is said to be, like, the family's redemption, only hope of redemption for the family. She's more of, like, a kind-hearted sim compared to the rest of her family so I don't know if she would how she would react if she became aware of her family's evil wrongdoings I think that she would take a stand against it kind of like her uncle Dudley did which like I said she doesn't like her uncle Dudley but I don't think she really knows why he's kind of distanced himself from the family she's probably just been told you know, a bunch of stuff from her dad and her uncle and everybody who kind of, like, hates him for it. But I can definitely see her kind of being like him once she finds out and not really wanting much to do with it. But, yeah, this is Shark's Room and typical boy room, you know. I gave him a desk over here with a laptop and I did give him a TV and a gaming system. Um, I don't think he's able to technically, like, play the game sitting right there in that chair because it's kind of, like, um, grid snapped to the computer. Um, but it's really just for looks. Um, you could... I don't think I did. Yes, I did. I did. I did put a video gaming system in um, upstairs. There is, like, a game room, um, theater room, so I did put one up there so he can still play video games because he does have that skill trait and it's something he's into, but I gave him this little fighting robot thing, <laughs> I forget what it's called, that came with, um, Strangerville and the Sims 4 game pack, um, just because he is athletic, I imagine him, you know, learning how to fight, stuff like that, I just feel like, you know, he's he knows what's going on with his family a little bit more than what his sister does. He, he needs to be tough. He needs to be ready to fight. So he's like practicing. He's getting ready for it. I don't know. But yeah, as far as like Shark, how the description said, he's a little bit more of a, like a womanizer than he is a criminal. So eh, not really sure how good he would be if he took over. But you know, he might can learn to be a criminal. He would just be a womanizing criminal, but that, that's even more fun, right? <laughs> so, anyways, over here, this is another bedroom. So, the house originally in The Sims 3 had an extra bedroom, too. So, I was like, whose bedroom is this? <laughs> and I was thinking, oh, well, you know, it probably could have been um, Dudley's before he moved out. But, anyways, I imagine this would either be a guest bedroom or, personally, if I was to download this family and play with them in The Sims 4... I would hire a butler. I just think that wealthy families like this have a butler. I don't see any of them cleaning or doing any of that stuff. Do you see silver, marigold? No. Lolly has a few cooking skill points. She probably goes down there and cooks sometimes because that's just who she is. Uh, but for the most part, like the cleaning and everything, no. Butler all the way. So I would make that a room for the butler and have a butler move in on the lot and do all of the cooking and cleaning for this wealthy family. <laughs> or, you know, you could just have it as a guest room if you want. But anyways, this is the last room I think you'll see me furnish in this um, build. And it is kind of like the little game room area. Um, I gave them the Don't Wake the Llama card table, the foosball table, a big screen TV. I gave them the Lindsay smart speaker and a video gaming system so they can come in here and, you know, hang out with their friends. The teenagers can. Um, there's not a TV downstairs or anything like that. So when they get bored, if they don't feel like lounging by the pool and all that, they can come up here, hang out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the house. Whew.
like I said, I did cut out some bathrooms and the hallways for the second and the third floor, but I did include them in screenshots. It's basically just, you know, my same old, same old, adding some bookshelves here and there, some paintings. It's just the big house, you guys. So I just had to cut out as much as I could, um, but I did go back downstairs to the backyard and I try to furnish it the best I could, so I don't know. It's just, it's very big and spacious, and I was kind of like, eh, I don't know what to do with it. So, <laughs> obviously the pool, I gave them a diving um, board or whatever that thing is, diving station, and some floaties in the pool for, you know, uh, silver and them to lounge and relax in when they come out to, you know, relax while everybody else is working, you know, busy stealing. We have lounge chairs now, which, hallelujah, that makes makes life so much easier. I don't have to do the makeshift uh, lounge chairs like we used to have to do. Um, I did give them a hot tub. I imagine that that would be something fancy that they would like to have as well. I just put it over there in the corner. I gave them um, the little uh, tapish, what do, what do you call this? Like, what do you call that? That came with Island Living. I do use a lot of Island Living stuff in this pack, by the way. I'm obsessed with those plants. <laughs> I didn't even mention that. So, yes, you need Island Living for this house to be remotely cute. <laughs> because all of the plants, pretty much, are from that pack. And I gave them a table, a little grilling area out here. And is that it? Is that pretty much it? Um, I think so. <laughs> oh, I do actually... I'm adding the lights here, but I do put a wall, like a fence wall, on the other side of the pool, kind of where it separates that grass area. You'll see me do that, kind of like last minute. I just felt it looked better, and I ended up putting a gate right there, and I just gave them like a little garden area. I don't really see any of them gardening, honestly. It just doesn't strike me as they'd be out, very outdoorsy and into gardening. Um, but I don't know. Now that I think of it, I can definitely imagine somebody in the family. <laughs> this is so bad, but like, uh, herbs, like, you know, like weed or something. I can definitely see them planting it back there in their backyard. But anyways, yeah, that is the Racket family and their home. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you stuck with me, you are a saint. Let me know if you stuck through this whole voiceover and video. But yeah, the family and the house is available for download on the gallery. Here are the screenshots. Um, of course, the family does have a ton of CC. So make sure you have that CC tab checked. Um, if you need to know where I got certain CC, you can ask and I can try to point you in that direction. Um, but follow my CC Tumblr page and, you know, download some of the stuff that I have. Everything I use is on there from Tumblr. Whew, but anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and catch my breath. Thank you guys for watching. Love y'all so much. And I'll talk to y'all later.